And before we go into Marvel, Roger and I last week took a ride down to Brooklyn to Court Street and we checked out my buddy Joe at his shop, The Dugout. So um, let's turn you over there. We can see I uh, picked up a couple more issues off my Spider-Man run and uh, then we'll be right back with uh, all the Marvel books that were marvelous this week. <laughs> Joe's shop down at the dugout on Court Street. Take a look around. This is your average run-of-the-mill comic shop. Joe don't really deal with new issues too much. Joe only likes to deal with collectors. People who actually know their shit about comics. You come in, you sit down, you talk to them for a while, shoot the shit, see what kind of new stuff is going on, not that he really cares. And then he shows you all the good stuff behind the cat. Come on, let's go meet the man himself. What's going on, Joe? Pete. Say hi to the viewers. What's going on, viewers? I'm over here today. Take some more Pete's money. <laughs> he uh, loves doing that, but I always said he always treats me right, so I don't mind throwing my money at him. Hey, what, do I, what did I get this week? Obviously, he's taking an amazing Spider-Man, number 35, which is in decent shape. Feet very fine minus. Number 58. And, of course, number 38. I'm going to have to play triple eights in the lotto, G+. I think. G-plus. Yeah, I think you should. 888. Well, not really. 358 would be good. It was 35, 38. Mm. But, yeah, here's Pete getting a good deal again. This 90. That's, uh, let me see, 140. Pete's going to play roughly around 120 on this. We got, again, an entire stack of comic books over here. A lot of which I still do need, but Christmas is coming. I know, Joe. I know. Fuck Christmas. It's Christmas to me, right? Pete, but my kids have a cereal with a fork right now. <laughs> Calm down about Christmas. <laughs> Joe's got a lot of baseball cards. I always told him my buddy Jim introduced me to him because Jim likes baseball cards. We got some Mickey Mantles under the table there. We got even some 1948 Bowmans. I don't know a lot of shit about baseball cards. Yeah, I came across a nice mantle right here. What we got? It's a 56 graded mantle, excellent five. That's the year we won the Triple Crown for those of you who ain't Yankee fans and don't know shit. It's a measly 750. It's pretty good. Here's pretty. one of my favorite cards in the store. It's a Paul O'Neill autograph card, and this is roughly $40. It's a great looking card, it's his autograph, and he, he does have three or four championships with the Yankees. Is that a piece of a baseball? It's an autograph base, piece of a sweet spot of a baseball. This is Mickey Vernon, who just recently passed away. Mm. Uh, Joe, how long you been in this neighborhood anyway? I've been, I'm born and raised in this neighborhood. The store was originally on Smith and Sackett for 13 years. I'm in this hellhole of a store over here for six years, going on seven. <laughs> roughly 20 years doing retail comic books and baseball cards. What's one of the characters, Joe, that you get walking oh, every, in? Everybody's a character that walks in. <laughs> they get Steve Mendez, the Verizon guy, great guy. Willie the Mailman. Uh, we got my friend Smiley right here. Come visit me every Sunday. We have lunch together. Every day is a different bunch of characters. You name it, they're here. We have this guy, Algy. All he does is buy old 50 cent dollar cards from the 60s. Everybody has a nickname in this store. <laughs> Here's, here's the man, straight from Brooklyn. My buddy comes visit me every day. What's up, buddy? Good. So you come in this store every day? Yes. Yeah, what do you like to get from Joe? Mostly Pokemon cards? Yeah. yeah. Joe always treat you right? Yeah. yeah. He gives you a nice discount and everything? Discount. He shakes yeah. me down. He can every day. Like I'm the only known as the man's father. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Joe and I go way back. He used to ask me to comb his back back in the day when we were younger. <laughs> and uh, we used to toss a few brews back. And, you know, now he supports my kid's uh, cavity habit. <laughs> Hello. She's the woman. Every day. <laughs> Like I said, Joe's always got some nice Silver Age books. I always come in here when I'm looking for some new Spidey. So if you want to get in touch with Joe, see what he's got, you know, see what kind of prize he can give you, send him a want list or something, email him, call him up, talk to him, tell him you've seen him on Pete's Basement, and treat you right. Always do. What do I always tell you guys? Make friends. All right, I'm going to go throw this man my credit card, and I'm going to close my eyes and pretend it never happened. Joe, thank you very much, brother. You mentioned Pete's Basement, you get 10% off on all your Silver Age comics. Awesome. Okay. See you later. Thanks, Joe, for those great deals, man. It was always fun fucking going down there. Joe's crazy bastard. That was mine. <laughs>